guys, Anthony here. I'm gonna do a review today on this uh, Survive Outdoors Longer Sport Utility Blanket. Uh, just picked this up today, uh, about 20, 21 bucks. We're gonna see how it holds up to the uh, South Florida rain. Uh, you could use this as a, like they have it pictured here on the front cover, as a tarp. You could use it as a ground cloth, you could use it as a shelter, you could use it as a gear cover. Uh, they give a whole bunch of um, uh, ways you could use it here. Rescue litter, emergency blanket, because it'll hold your heat in. It has the uh, reflective surface on the one side, and then the bright orange surface on the other side, as you guys can see. Um, and again, here, he's using it as a ground cloth, a blanket, um, carrying some firewood. Uh, so we're going to pitch it as a uh, tarp um, in between two trees, and then we're going to wait till it rains out, and we're going to get under it and see how it uh, holds off a Florida uh, thunderstorm during hurricane season. So let's get back. This is grommeted, and so it uh, seems to be pretty heavy duty at, at about five, five feet by seven feet little over 11 ounces uh, this is going to be part of my uh, one of my kits and so I'm um, looking forward to uh, putting it through its paces so join me to set it up and uh, we'll be right back thanks all right guys we have it out of the pack this is it here we're going to unwrap unfold it I'm going to lay it out and we're going to get a good uh, view on what it looks like uh, opened up so just fold it up here from the pack. Here you can see the, the grommets and the reinforced stitching. Looks like it's very well uh, made. So it says there's six grommets on this, so we'll see. Just from feeling the fabric, you can, I can tell it's very well put together. Okay, yeah. You got one grommet on each corner. And then you got a grommet in the center. So here's your grommet in the center. And then you have one around each of the four corners for a total of six. And this is the top side of it. And then the other side is the reflecting side. So I'm 5'10", and I could easily fit <clears throat> that ant off of it. I could easily fit on this and use it for a ground cloth. Turn it around the other way and I can cover myself with it, use it as a, a sleeping aid, as a blanket. We're going to look at this today as a uh, uh, set up as a tarp. I'm going to use these two trees here and set it up and then we're going to wait for the rain to come. So Joy will be right back. Set that up. All right, guys, here's my setup. I got two trees that I had to work with. I just took the back grommets with some paracord, tied them out, ran them to these two stakes that I just made from some sticks, one on each end. Okay. Didn't use the center grommet. Ran a line between the both trees with some paracord. And then just took the two other ends of the SOL blanket tarp to those two small trees. And this is what I come up with. It's an inside view. Here it is tied off. Okay, you got five by seven is this size of this tarp. There's the underside or the reflective surface side. Okay, I could have went straight down to the ground, but I just wanted to, for this video, kept it off the ground a little bit. I've got a drum, you know, small garbage can bag here, and I've got my get home bag right there, which is a Rush 24 you guys have seen in some other videos. Now all we're gonna do is wait for the rain to come and then I'm gonna get under it and we're gonna see how it sheds water 
and how it would keep me in a real life uh, situation. Okay, so we'll be back with that. A fairly simple setup, guys. Power cord, a couple sticks, or you could use 10 pegs. I could have took some 10 pegs out of my kit, but I just used some sticks and I carved them with my knife right here. My martini. Okay, well, we'll be back when the weather hits. All right, guys. While we're waiting for it to, to start raining out, I decided to make myself a cup of coffee under the tarp. It's actually we've got a light drizzle going on now. But as you can see, this tarp gives me good cover. It gives my gear good cover. And it gives my stove set good cover. In this case, I'm using an Esbit stove. Set my stove. Set my canteen cup. Beverage kit right here in my pack. And we're going to make a Starbucks via. fire kit and so there you go guys good amount of cover very heavy duty material on this tarp here definitely see this as part of my uh, part of my kit at 11 and a half ounces it's uh, definitely worth it let that boil up and we'll be back guys coffee's done ah, that's good nice and hot all right guys Anthony here we're under the Sol sport utility blanket we are simulating some rain since it hasn't rained today and I want to just see how it sheds off the water. Seems like it's doing a pretty good job. My pocket here, the Rush 24. some good heavy duty material. Now it's really coming down. Still dry, guys. Definitely, definitely recommend this tarp. At 11 and a half ounces, waterproof, multiple uses. And for 20 bucks, you can't beat it.
definitely like it.